Hello students, welcome to your e-learning classes of Asansol North Point School. Today we are going to study the second chapter from your Collins English Grammar Book and as you can see the name of the chapter is Noun Numbers. Nouns can be of two types, singular and plural. So we are going to study the definition of singular noun and plural nouns. So first let's move on to the first definition of singular nouns. So what is a singular noun? We use the singular form of the noun to talk about one person. This means whenever we are talking about any one person, it is called a singular noun. For example, a boy, a girl, a ball, a toy, an apple. These are all examples of a singular noun. Now, next we will study the definition of what is a plural. We use the plural form of the noun to talk about more than one person. This means when we are talking about more than one person or more than one thing, that time it is called a plural form of the noun. For example, boys, girls, balls, toys, apples. All these are examples of plural nouns. Now, you can see over here an apple. This means there is one single apple. But in the plural example, you will find apples, A-P-P-L-E-S. This means that an apple means a single apple. And when I am writing in the example apples, it means more than one apple. That is the plural form of the apples. Alright. <coughs> Next is uncountable nouns do not have plural forms now what is uncountable nouns you have already studied in your noun chapter nouns which cannot be counted are called uncountable nouns so water is uncountable noun and it cannot be changed into the plural form that is w a t e r s cannot be written okay next is milks milk cannot be written in plural form as m i l k s okay next is sand it cannot be written in the plural form by adding s that's why cross is given next is rain again this also cannot be written by adding s in the plural form Rice also, it cannot be written by adding S in the plural form. So, water, milk, sand, rain, rice, these are all uncountable nouns which cannot be changed into the plural forms. Now, next is rules for forming plurals. The first rule that we have is when forming plurals, the most nouns, for most nouns, we add S to the end of the word. For example, pen. When you are changing into the plural form, it is P-E-N-S. You are just adding S to the end of the word. 
all right next is toy when you are changing into the plural form you are just adding s to the end of the word that is toys second one second rule when a singular noun ends in s double s x z c h s h that time we add e s to the end of the word i repeat this rule once more when a singular noun ends in s double s x z c h s h b add e s to the end of the word okay for example bus then you are changing into the plural form just by adding e s because the spelling of bus is b u s the ending is s that's why e s is added and it is changed into the plural form next is class c l a the ending two letters are s s okay so when you are changing into the plural that time c l a s s you are going to add e s to it and it will be changed into the plural form next is box b o x the ending letter is x when you are changing into the plural form that time you are just going to add e s that is b o x e s that is boxes next branch b r a n and the ending two letters are c h so when you are changing into the plural form you are just going to add e s that is b r a n c h e s to the word and it will be changed into the plural form okay next dish d i s h the ending two letters of a here are s h you are again going to add e s to the ending part and then it will be changed into the plural form that is d i s h e s dishes okay next quiz q u i z the ending last letter is z so when you are changing into the plural there is a slight change in the spelling and the change is that q u i the z is being doubled over here double z and then e s is being added and this way it is being changed into the plural form so these are the two rules that we have studied for changing the singular form of the nouns to the plural forms all right now the third rule that we have is for most singular nouns ending in o e s is added to the word now again when you are changing the singular form of the noun into the plural form and the singular form of the noun is ending with the letter o that time how you are going to change it into the plural form just by adding e s to the singular form of the word for example hero h e r o 
that means the ending letter over here is o you are changing this into the plural form that time you are just adding es to the word and it is getting changed into the plural form that is hero heroes h o r h e r o e s heroes next example is eco e c h o the ending letter over here is o you are changing into the plural form just by adding es to it and the plural form is echoes e c h o e s so what is the third rule whenever any singular noun is ending with the letter o you can change it into the plural form just by adding es to it for example heroes and echoes now the next rule number 4 however there are some exceptions of the third rule where the noun ends in o but the plural is formed by adding s so here is some exception of the third rule the third rule which we just now studied that is when the singular noun is ending with o we are adding es to it and it is getting changed into the plural form in the fourth rule there is just some exception of the third rule where the noun it is ending with the letter o but the plural is being formed just by adding s to the word all right now example photo p h o t o over here the ending letter over here is o but the exception over here of the third rule you have to apply so what is the plural form p h o t o s photos only s is being added to the word photo that is the singular form of the word photo and it is getting changed into the plural form next example is studio s t u d i o ending letter is o when you are changing into the plural form following the exception of the third rule you are just going to add s to the end and it will be changed into the plural form that is studios s t u d i o s next is zero z e r o ending over here is o when you are changing it into the plural form that time you are just going to add s z e r o s that is zeros so this is the exception of the third rule where the noun ending with the letter o but when you are changing that noun into the plural form you are just going to add s to the singular form of the noun word in order to change it into the plural form this was your fourth rule now next is your fifth rule now let us see what is the fifth rule over here a singular noun that ends with y forms the plural by dropping the y and adding i e s now what does this rule mean a singular noun which is ending with the letter y it can be changed into the plural form by dropping the y by dropping the y means you are going to remove the y from there and after removing the y you are going to add i in place of the letter y and in order to change it into the plural plural form 
you are just going to add es to it that is i e s you are going to add after removing the y i'll repeat this rule once more in order to form the singular noun of uh, sorry a singular noun that ends with the letter y it can be changed into the plural form by dropping the y that is by removing the y and in place of the y you are going to add i and in order to change it into the plural form you are going to add es to it so it will be changed into the plural form now let us look into the examples army a r m y you can see the spelling it is ending with the letter y a r m y okay so when you are going to change this word army into the plural form what you are going to do you are just going to remove the letter y from here all right and you in place of the y you are just going to put i then you are going to add es to it because you are going you are going to change it into the plural form that is i e s you are going to add the word is army a r m y army it is getting changed into the plural form by adding i e s a r m i e s armies now the next word is story s t o r y again you can see over here the ending letter is y so how you will change into plural form you are going to remove the y in place of the y i will be placed and es will be added that is i e s so story is the singular form and plural form is stories s t o r i e s so what is the fifth rule let us revise once more quickly whenever the singular form of the noun it is ending with the letter y and you want to change it into the plural form that time we are going to remove the y in place of the y i will be placed and in order to change it into the plural form es will be added that is i e s will be added so what are the two examples army a r m y army it will be changed into the plural form as a r m i e s armies story s t o r y it is the singular form and the plural form will be s t o r i e s stories so these are the five rules now let us move on to the next rule that we have however if the letter before the last letter y is a vowel the plural is formed by adding s so here is another rule that if the last letter is y and the letter before the letter y is a vowel then the plural is formed just by adding s to the singular form of the word for example boy b o y over here the last letter is y and the letter just before the last letter that is y is o which is a vowel so in order to change the boy into the plural form we have to add s to it that is b o y s boys it will be changed into the plural form then next example is donkey what is the spelling d o n k e y 
the last letter is Y and the letter just before the letter Y is E which is a vowel. So again when you are changing it into the plural form you are just going to add S to it that is D O N K E Y S donkeys. This is the plural form. I repeat this rule once more. Whenever the last letter is Y and the letter just before the Y is a vowel, then you can change it into the plural form just by adding S to it. For example, boy, boys, donkey, donkeys. Now, number seven rule. If a singular noun ends in F or FE, the ending changes to VES when forming the plural. So, what does this rule mean? Whenever a singular noun is ending with F or FE, that time the noun the singular noun it can be changed into the plural form just by changing the F or FE to VES. Okay. For example, shelf. What is the spelling over here? S H E L F. Shelf. The ending letter for this word is F. Okay. So, when you are changing it into the plural, what you will do? You are just going to remove the F from here and you are going to add V-E-S. That is shelves. S-H-E-L-V-E-S. Shelves, which is the plural form of the word shelf. Next is half. H-A-L-F. The last letter over here is F. When you are changing it into the plural form, just remove the F and you have to add V-E-S. That is halves. H-A-L-V-E-S. Halves. This is the plural form of the word half. So, what was the rule? If the singular noun ends with F or F-E, then you are just going to change the ending that is you are just going to remove the F and you are going to add PES and the word will be changed into the plural form. Next number 8 rule. However some nouns which ends in F or FE the plural is formed by adding S. In the next rule again, if some nouns are ending with F or FE, then you are going to change it into the plural form just by adding S. These you can say are just the exception of the F or FE rule. Just as in the previous rule we studied that if you have the ending in the singular noun as F or FE, when you are changing it into the plural form, you are going to add VES. Okay? But in rule number 8, over here also, when the ending you are having F or FE, you are going to change it into the plural form just by adding S to the word. That is to the singular form of the word. So, this is the exceptional case of the F or FE rule. Okay. See the example. Giraffe. G-I-R-A-F-F-E. So, over here, the last two letters are F-E. But since this is the exceptional rule, that's why you are just going to add S to the singular form of the word giraffe and it will be changed into the plural form. So, what is the new spelling? G I R A F F E S. 
this is the plural form of the word giraffe now next word is gulf g u l f the ending is again f so just because it is the exceptional rule you are just going to add s to the singular form of the word that is g u l f s and it will be changed into the plural form so these are the next few rules that we have for the noun numbers now next is rule number 9 some singular nouns form the plural by changing the inside vowel so what does this mean changing the inside vowel over here by examples i will explain this man m a n so which is the vowel over here inside vowel a a is the vowel and this is over here the singular form man is the singular form so when you are changing it into the plural form then again for the plural form the inside vowel is getting changed m a n man is singular form and m e n is the plural form okay now next is f w o t foot again over here the middle two vowels are getting changed which are the inside vowel and in the plural form what is being the change over here foot is being changed into feet f double e t okay now next example is goose again two middle vowels are over here g double o s e so in the plural form again the two middle vowels that is double o is getting changed into double e geese g double e s e so according to the definition of this rule whenever the singular nouns it can be formed into the plural form or it can be changed into the plural form just by changing the inside vowel okay man can be changed into men foot can be changed into feet goose can be changed into geese okay now next is rule number 10 when forming the plural of compound nouns we add s to the word so while you are changing the plural form of the compound nouns you are just going to add s to the word okay for example brother in law over here you are just going to add you are just going to add mm -hmm. s to the main word over here that is brother over here when you are changing into the plural form that is brothers in law you can see over here the word brothers b r o t h e r s is being added to the main word and this is being changed into the plural form brother in law is the singular form and you are adding s to the main word that is brother and it is being changed into the plural form as brothers in law okay now next again sister in law again over here you are just adding s to the word that is the main word sister that is sisters in law s i s t e r s then in law so this is how the compound nouns are being changed into the plural forms by just adding s to the main word next there are some nouns of foreign origin some nouns in english are taken from other languages 
these nouns form their plurals in different ways so let us now study what are the nouns which are taken from other languages and how are their plurals in different ways how are they formed by different ways okay so the first rule that you have over here is changing ending us to i see for example with example i'll be explaining that is radius r a d i u s the ending over here is u s so this is the singular form which i'm talking about if you are changing the word radius which is in singular form into the plural form what you have to do you are just going to remove the us and in the plural form you will add i that is double i you are going to add single i and then it will be formed into radii which is the plural form next example is cactus c a c t u s the ending is again u s this is the singular form so when you are changing into the plural form you are just going to remove u s and you will just add i to it that is cat t c a c t i next word is stimulus s t i m u l u s the ending is again u s so when you are changing into plural you will just remove u s and add i that is stimuli s t i m u l i stimuli next rule that you have is changing end is is to es now with examples i will tell this okay first example that you have is axis a x i s the ending letter is i s so when it will be changed into the plural form then is will be removed and es will be added that is axis a x i s is the singular form and in plural a x e s okay next analysis a n a l y s i s again the ending letter is i s so you are going to remove i s and and the plural word is analysis a n a l y s e s you are just going to remove i s and you are going to add e s next is crisis c r i s i s so you will remove i s and while changing it into the plural form you will just add e s that is c r i s e s this way these words are getting changed into the plural forms next third rule changing n o n to a for example the word is criterion c r i t e r i o n the ending is o n so this is the singular form criterion o n is the ending and when you are going to change into the plural form you are going to remove o n and instead of o n a will be placed placed that is the word will be criteria c r i t e r i a criteria which is the plural form next example is phenomenon p h e n o m e n o n again the ending letter is o n you are going to remove o n and while you are changing into the plural form you will just add a to it that is phenomena p h e n o m e n a phenomena 
okay now the fourth rule changing n u m to a now example stadium s t a d i u m so what is the ending to letter u m and when it is getting changed into the plural form what is the word s t a d i a that is u m is getting removed and it is being changed into the letter a okay so stadium is the singular form and stadia is the plural form next word is bacterium so the ending letter is um and when you are changing into the plural um will be removed and a will be added that is bacteria which is the plural form next is curriculum the ending letter again over here is um and when you are changing it into the plural form that time you will remove um and the word will be the word which will be added will be a that is curricula okay so this is the plural form of the word curriculum that is curricula now next the rule that you have is nouns that are same in singular and plural forms that is there are some nouns which are same that is which do not have any change whether it is used in singular form or in plural form they always remain the same they do not have any change so what are these kinds of nouns let us see example advice dear baggage music spices so these words whether it is used in singular form or in plural form they do not have any kind of same they do not have any kind of change in singular and plural form they both are same okay for example there was a deer roaming around in the park okay whenever in this sentence i am using i where uh, there is a deer roaming around in the park so i am using the word deer over here but there is no change in the word deer that is neither it is changed into any plural form nor any singular form it remains the same this reserve forest has many deer so over here also there is no change in the singular or in the plural form the word deer has no change in the singular or in the plural form it remains the same now next rule nouns that are always plurals that is they are always written as plural forms they don't have singular form. they don't have any singular forms for example goods congratulations caesars sunglasses trousers shorts thanks clothes these words they do not have any kind of singular form they are always used in plural form example i need to buy a pair of scissors you are always going to use this word scissors a pair of scissors so they don't have any kind of singular forms okay they are always used as plural forms now next rule nouns that look plural but are singular in use 
over here there are some nouns which look like they are in plural forms but they they are used in singular form okay for example mathematics gymnastics aerobics economics news all right all these what is happening they just look like plural because in the spelling s is added along with the word but are you are singular in use but they are whenever they are used they are used in singular form for example mathematics is my favorite subject mathematics the spelling is only written in plural form but it is used as a single subject that is mathematics which is the name of a singular subject all right that is mathematics is my favorite subject okay now next nouns that look singular but are plural in use that means these nouns though they look in singular form but whenever they are used they are used in the plural form okay for example police cattle people clergy so whenever these words they look like singular but they are plural in use that means they are used in the plural form for example the police are investigating the case over here when we are talking about the word plural this means when i am talking about the word police this means only this does not mean only one police it means many police and also r is being used over here that's why over here this means the police are investigating the case that means the police officers are investigating some case so over here these words though they look like singular but they are always used in plural form 